team? Uh, well, I fit, told him it was an honor to, uh, to coach him. Felt like we left that locker room before the game as a family. Um, we, we need to stay a family uh, when we leave it um, after the game. I'm proud of, uh, proud of, proud to say that I coach them. Appreciate their efforts. There was a lot of guys that were, you know, battling through, um, beat up, banged up, and I felt like they fought. I kind of went over that stretch. Uh, you get the ball back in twenty-one seventeen. How big was that stop from them, and how much pressure did you feel going against them to score with your offense, considering what they have offensively? Well, I felt like we we got off to the start that we wanted. Um, in all three phases, but I think when you play teams like this or teams that are good as the Chiefs, uh, as explosive as they are, you, know, you kind of knew that they were going to you know, make a run. Uh, you know, again, I'm not going to say that that was, you know, that three and out was the difference in the game. We punted down there and we just, we couldn't, you know, had some stops that we, we didn't get. The quarterback was able to scramble on that, that series. And in a perfect world, yeah. Did I say, Arthur, hey, this has to be um, the last drive of the half? Absolutely. But uh, that didn't happen. Doesn't mean the game was over. Um, I felt like we still battled and competed. But that certainly um, was a big series for them. What did you feel like you, what was the key to their success against Derek as compared to what everybody else failed to do? Um, you know, I'd have to look at it. And, and, and again, just being able to see. I don't think we were able to run as many snaps and get things going. You know, we didn't break a big one, but you know, I felt like it was efficient. It was very efficient in the first half, um, and then they they put some long drives together um, to kind of get the to chew up some clock there in the third quarter. I think of the first second half series looked like you're going to have a fourth and one, and the penalty ends up making it taking you back. Did you have done for it? Do you think it was just a fourth and one in that situation? Um, There's probably a pretty good chance that we would have gone for it. But, you know, again, there's penalties are part of the game. You have to overcome them and, you know, make sure that, you know, we're focused on the situation. But, you know, it just didn't work out. When that offense, when they started to get on that, that run, uh, was it a matter of not being able to get home with your front four or what was happening? Did you both well, I mean, it's all 11 guys. I mean, you're going to need all 11 guys to, you know, you're going to need a great call. You're going to need great execution. Um, when they're when they're operating like that, and you know, there's times you, you try to blitz them, and, and then there's you know there's issues there just you know, in coverage, not as many guys in coverage, um, and then when he's able to hold the ball because you know you're trying to spy him, and then guys uncover, and you know, it, it's a challenge every, every play. And I thought I thought we had really some really nice snaps, you know, and then again we gave up some big plays, gave up some quarterback play extension that um, you know that cost you. Can their speed be just too much to handle on certain snaps? Well, it, you know, just being fast in itself um, isn't the, the answer. You know, you have to be fast and talented, uh, but there's ways to, you know, sometimes to defend uh, the speed. I mean, they give them a lot of credit that they're talented. They, you know, when we're trying to play certain coverages, they're working and, and you know, redirecting, and they've seen a lot of double coverages by Kelsey and, and Hill. Um, but, you know, we mixed in zone, mixed in man, try to hit them. And, and again, I thought there were some good snaps, and there were some snaps that we certainly um, would like to have back. But did Mahomes surprise you at all with his legs, especially on the longer run? Well, no, we watched it last week. It's just, um, you know, we didn't make a play on him. And, um, you know, I mean, we were fully aware that he was healthy, and that was a dimension um, of his game. It just, um, we didn't do a good enough job today. How much do you hope this season maybe set the expectation of what you want to achieve? The expectations have always been really high. You know, whether you lose in the AFC Championship game, you win the Super Bowl, um, I want the expectations to be high. I know that's what Miss Amy wants, that's what John wants, and that's what I want. So it you know, wouldn't, wouldn't change however we ended the season. The expectations are always high. There's always the suddenness that comes with the end. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't. I, I didn't prepare the speech, and you know, after the game, that you know, I didn't know what the schedule was. I, you know, I didn't know what time, you know, we would meet. I didn't know what the exit physicals. Are. You know, I mean, I didn't even bother to look at any of that. So I, I don't know. Um, you know, just try to figure out. Um, you know, worry about the guys, worry about the players. I think their health. Um, 
the guys that finished this game that were kind of banged up. There were guys that didn't finish the game. And I think that's to me the most important is the, it's about the, you know, it's not, this isn't about, you know, how I cope, you know, I mean, it's about how the players cope. You know, there's a lot of guys in there. I, you know, every year is new year. And, and again, it's not, it, you know, my concern is about the players. Again, it's it's hard to, to figure. I mean, I think they started probably rushing a little bit better the way that the, the game, you know, when it got to be, um, you know, 18, it got to be uh, three scores that, um, you know, they figured that they could probably pass rush and cut it loose a little bit. So, um, you know, you don't get down 18. You said that you Um, you know, that they're not front runners, that, um, you know, when people, you know, have opinions and comments and games don't go the way that we want them, um, they don't pout, they don't disappear, you know, because it's easy to, to listen to the noise sometimes that gets created in media and fans, outside influences. They stayed the course. They're, they're mentally and physically tough. Um, and again, that's... That's part of the reason why I'm proud to coach him. Second series, second series in the second half, I think you guys down 28 17. You have four, four straight passes, I think. And now it's easy to look back and you know, hindsight, but could you or should you have stuck with Henry a little bit more on that drive? I don't. But yeah, I guess there's a lot of things we could have done differently. Coach Reed talked about you uh, earlier in the year when you played, really liked you as a young coach. He says it's someone you guys talk to a lot. Sure. Yeah. I mean, again, and try to be gracious in victory and gracious in defeat. Um, can't say enough about Andy, his family, um, the the Hunt family, um, an organization I played for two years. Um, happy for Andy. Happy for you know some of those players that I know on that football team, and you know they they deserve to to go play for the for the championship.